What if I told you the best ergonomic mouse comes from a brand you probably never heard of? Well, say hello to the Zalpin Z2. Let's first start off with the quality of this mouse, as this is one of the key highlights of it. All around, the mouse is built like a tank, absolutely no creaking or flexing is present anywhere on this mouse, which is to be expected as the weight of this mouse does come in at around 65 grams. The mouse comes with TTC golds right out of the box, and the implementation of them in this mouse is really good. Very light and snappy and hardly any post or pre-travel is present on either of the triggers. If you don't enjoy the stock switches in this mouse then you are more than free to change the switches because the Zaupin Z2 features hot swap sockets for the main switches. So if you want to change the switches to something more quiet or heavier then you can just change them up for any 3 pin mechanical switch. I have opted to use zippy switches in this mouse and it completely changes the way the clicks feel and it's a pretty nice feature to see on a mouse that only costs $60. The stock skates and the coating on this mouse are top notch as well. In some ways, the coating on the Z2 reminds me of the coating that you would find on the Zowie mice, but just less aggressive. It's probably one of the better coatings we have seen on the more budget mice, and I had no issues at all with this coating, and I really don't see the need for third-party grips, just because of how good it is. The stock skates that come with the Z2 are really good as well. In the box, they include a pair of cutouts, so you can access the screws to open up the mouse to access those hot swap sockets. In terms of performance, the stock skates are just alright. Not the best or the worst I have felt, but they are definitely on the slower side of things. For a mouse that only comes in at $60, the performance of this mouse felt top notch at all times. While it's not going to compare to something like an OP18K or even a Zowie mouse when it comes to performance, it's still pretty good for the price that you are paying for this mouse. Right out of the box, it does come with the 4000Hz dongle, which is a nice addition to see, since more expensive mice don't even come with that right out of the box. In game, the mouse performed just like every mouse that is coming out these days, had no real issues at all while running it at 4000Hz as well, no stuttering in games and overall it just felt very stable at all times. Spider Life at 4000 Hz has also been really good, have been heavily using it for about 2-3 weeks and I only had to charge it around 2-3 times. Like everything else on this mouse, the shape is also very good. The mouse is an ergonomic mouse but it doesn't feel like a classic ergonomic shape when we are comparing it to something like a Death Adder V3 or even a Zowie EC2. Overall, the mouse is very low profile for an ergonomic shape which does allow for more grip styles to be used with it. I have 165 by 9 cm hands and had no issues using a relaxed claw grip or an aggressive claw grip and also a fingertip grip at times. When compared to the EC2 and the Death Adder V3, you can see right away that the Z2 is both shorter and flatter than both of the mice when it comes to the hump of the mouse. The sides on the Z2 are also going to be flatter than most ergos, and combining that with the lower and flatter hump, it does make for a great mouse for fingertip grip surprisingly. Overall, the Z2 has a very safe shape that I have been enjoying quite a bit. The shape also kind of makes it feel like an asymmetrical mouse. So if you are someone that dislikes the feel of a traditional ergonomic shape and wants something that feels closer to an asymmetrical mouse, then this might be just for you. The software for this mouse is pretty basic for the most part. On the main page, you have the ability to change the functions of the buttons of the mouse, as well as the main switch's debound settings. On the second page, is going to be all of the important settings, such as setting your DPI and setting up different stages. You also have the option to change the polling rate from 125Hz all the way up to 4000Hz, as the mouse already comes bundled with the 4000Hz dongle. Below that, you have some settings for the sensor, such as setting the LOD and the sleep timer, which they have labeled as peak performance, as well as some toggles for ripple control, angle snapping, and motion sync. On the last two pages, you have the option to set up macros if you are someone that takes advantage of that. And on the last page, you have some information about the firmware of the mouse and the dongle, as well as the pairing tool. You also have the option to turn on long distance mode, so if the dongle is farther away from you, you can take advantage of this feature with taking some hits to the battery of the mouse. Overall, this is probably one of the best ergonomic mice you can pick up for under $100. Quality is all around perfect and feels even better than the Zowie U2 in some ways. Performance on this mouse is also top notch as well, and it even comes with the 4000Hz dongle right out of the box, which we rarely see from the larger brands. And the mouse even comes with the hot swap sockets, so you have the freedom to choose what kind of switches you want to use in the mouse. So overall, for $60, this mouse is a no-brainer not to pick up, especially if you do enjoy ergonomic mice.